Hey Virgo, it's Teresa with One Love, One Light. Welcome to your reading. We're just going to see what Spirit wants you to know. Holy Spirit, what do you want Virgo to know? Show me what Virgo needs to know. And we have growth. Perception. Gratitude. Dissipating. And creation. So what I'm getting here is that you've gone through a period of growth and it really has changed your perception. This is in the heart space with this green here. I feel like your challenge here is gratitude. This is this is about still wanting to grow more, still wanting to see more in your physical realm. And so I feel like it's almost like your faith is waning because you're you're focused on something that hasn't manifested yet. And so it's hard to have gratitude because you're still waiting on something to show up. Something So it's like your faith is dissipating and the outcome is creation. But we're going to clarify. So show me why growth is here in the recent past. Okay, and we have this special card in this deck. It's called Embrace the All. The Princess of Dis, which almost everybody has gotten this card at some point in their reading. And the Six of Wands. So what I'm getting here is that, yes, you had a spurt of growth, but it was through some tough times. So it's almost like you're like they're saying you need to embrace the all, the good and the bad, and transmute that, whether it's pain, whether it's sorrow, whether it's suffering, whether it's um, you know, times of uncertainty, transmute that because you have had victory when it comes to opening your heart, to growing your soul, to expansion. All right, so what's this perception about? Show me perception for Virgo in the current, the current energy of perception. And we have the Eon, which is judgment. The Emperor. And the Empress, wow. So your perception is really like a wake-up call. And it has to do with relationships. I feel like this is growing your, your divine masculine and divine feminine within. But also, whether you're male or female, this is really coming into your life purpose. And it's changing the way that you look at things. It has everything to do with your life purpose with that judgment card there. So why is gratitude here as a challenge? Why is gratitude a challenge? We have the Four of Cups. We have the Ace of Pentacles. And justice. So yeah, I feel like there's <clears throat> there's something that that spirit has been trying to offer you that you aren't seeing. You're more focused on growing whatever is in these three cups, wherever your heart is in these three cups, and it's like there's something outside of that that spirit really wants to bring forth. This is going to, this has huge potential to really bring in some good karma 
but you have to maintain this perception of gratitude, being grateful for what you have, but also being open to seeing what else spirit has to offer you. All right, so why is dissipating here as the advice? We have the chariot. We have the Prince of Swords. And the Prince of Dis. So I feel like this is really talking about action in many forms here. The Knights are associated with Chariot card. So to me, this is the ultimate card of faith success and victory this is letting go letting spirit carry you to where your success and victory is there's no reins here and these are of two different minds the dark and the light that are going to carry you and this is going to be in something that utilizes your intelligence your sort of truth here but it does take time so it's like you're losing faith because you're not seeing that but you have to have gratitude for what you already have in order for more to be manifested. All right, so why is creation here as the outcome? And we have the Hierophant, spiritual connection. We have the Four of Pentacles, stability, but also clinging on to what you have, scarcity mentality. And then we have the World card. In this deck, it's called the Crown, Completion, and Embodiment. So I feel like this is a cycle that you're, where the main focus is getting you to um, let go of this, like, feeling safe in these four walls. It's about it's about connecting to spirit and trusting trusting that they're carrying you to where it is that you need to go. And it can it's like can be uncomfortable. I feel like even through the discomfort you need to have this perception of gratitude. You need to have a perception that you're open to receive because Right here, you're holding tight to what's comfortable, what's warm, what's safe, what's stable. And nothing new comes out of that. There is no creative energy in that, right? Okay, so that's what Spirit wants you to know. Let's get some tea leaves to see if there's anything else that they want you to know. Okay, we have this other pile too. Alrighty, let's see what we have. Sorry for bumping the camera. <clears throat> okay, so we have <clears throat> excuse me, dark man, dealings or relationship with a man with dark complexion or hair. We have chair filled, someone new is entering your life. Needle and thread, a sincere wish will be granted. Man, dealings or relationship with a man. Camel, Persevere and you will overcome problems. Crown, honor and respect will come to you. Woman, dealings or relationship with a woman. Grapes, time to go out and have fun. And pin, new job or career. Wow. So there's a lot of new things, new people, and new situations that are coming into your life. So... Be open to receive. Also, be in the frame of gratitude. You know, be in that mind mindset of gratitude for what you already have 
and be comfortable with what you already have, but also be open to receiving something new. That is the messages that came through for you, Virgo. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. And remember, the universe has your back, and so do I. Take care.